Hi friends, it's me Anish Menon. It's not a simple deal to create a real-time application with Django. So I have already developed a package called iShow.js and uh, to get connected with this package or this client I'm using Django real-time. It's also a developed package and it's available in PyPy. I will be using Node.js, Django, Redis and Socket.io. So let's get started. Which lamp global? Mm, okay, so I was activating that. Pip install Django 1.5.1 and pip install Django real time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Creating a new project called Real Pro. Okay. Django admin.py start project Real Pro. Okay. Fine. Just importing that project to my sublime. So, okay, fine. I'm gonna edit my settings and uh, for it's it's a development environment so i'm connecting sqlite 3 so i recommend to use postgresql or either a good database okay mentioning d real time it's a module name of django real time it's another creating a new app call example python minus chart pile start app example okay mentioning thou to my install apps example okay so I have to configure my middle wire okay from the real time middle wire I shout middle wire just mentioned that just before session middle wire just before the session middle wire okay it's writing my first views from django shortcuts import render to response from django template importing request context and from django contrib.auth.models importing user and also importing the decorated login required okay naming in this home and decorating it with login required users equal users start object start excluding the logged in user id equal to request start user dot id okay and to the variables i'm packing all the users excluding the logged in fellow and retaining to a template called harm.html okay okay for that I have to configure my templates directory it's templates and mentioning what's the root function the top of settings okay configuring my urls it's from real pro the examples views home Okay, fun use home. Okay, and also we have to write the login page. So we have the default Django login views, Django contrib or, or views importing the login and mapping to the login URL. And I'm creating a templates folder inside that another folder called registration because if you, are, if you want to mention another login page or the HTML page we can mention inside the directory okay fine and another uh, template login.html for that it's a default one we can change it in the URLs itself for the demo I don't want to go ahead and waste time on that okay 
okay it's perfect okay okay i think so okay creating another template called hop.html we have already created the views for that and uh, the variables i have uses as a query set for each users into the user and uh, i have to alert user simply by clicking on a link automatically hello friend will be going to the opposite user that's the example i'm going to show you so i'm simply displaying the name of the user and it's a fan alert function okay mentioning inside the template okay the dashboard as title mm, fun okay have to mention the deck oh uh, template tags initializing the d real time template tags and also i have to load the socket iogs and iShotJS from the servo maybe serving from the redis either you can done in ma manually you can mention here okay if the loop is empty there will be no uses found okay fine running the servo okay post its example was that sorry sorry it's outside the real pro folder okay example dot views dot home python manage dot py sing db okay creating my super user yes and its name is admin username it's giving my email that email password qwerty okay python manage dot py run servo okay admin as username and password as qwerty let's go what's that users okay oh fine fine user sorry sorry again okay so the dashboard is loaded okay just that created that okay fine so the admin is logged in so there is no users so we have to create the users before that we have to uh, do a function call alert it's also required by the login login required is the okay wait just need to import i showed client okay copying that from the real time import i showed client to i showed underscore client instance mentioning the class i showed client okay r equal to request dot get dot get i will be passing the user id through get request and i showed client dot emit function it's accepting three values three arguments okay first is the in request dot get i will be passing a user id from your user and the value will be the user id user dot id yeah okay it will be coming as string and converting it is as integer kind the second the name of the channel it's your wish to name the channel i'm giving as alert channel comma and next is what data you are pausing data equal to a dictionary you can pass multiple values key values but uh, i'm doing uh, msg and its value msg as key and its value as hello dear friend okay fine and after clicking on it this function should work and returning to the home views again for that http response redirect reversing to the home mm, fine okay. So, okay. and uh, mapping the url to the views alert and i uh, okay here we should switch on the i shot 
and the channel should we should subscribe the channel okay script so javascript okay i showed dot on okay renaming the channel name to alert channel and we are getting a data and from that a message msg that's we are pausing from here the i short will be pushing to the subscribe channels seller channel that's our channel okay spice and manage dot by shell just wanna create the new user and uh, then only we can connect to one user to another user okay use uh, first name as anish and username anish.save okay setting the password as query okay Take my browser again another browser so then only we can test the two user chats so let's install iShow.js. It's a Node package module. You should install Node.js before installing iShow.js. For this example, we need to have Redis server. So these two dependencies are already installed in my Mac. To know how to install Redis server and Node.js, you just look at the video description. Okay sudo npm install ishout.js <coughs> ishout.js okay it will install all the dependencies which required okay before that we should run ready server on another window if it's ubuntu or other operating system it will be working as always okay and before uh, we, after installing node j uh, i shout you will be getting node underscore modules so you just command node space node underscore modules directory inside that i dot js server dot js so it will be working on the port so let's log in as the second user anish and qwerty okay dashboard is loaded okay so let's test admin is also loaded here yeah opposite user here admin is opposite user and another chrome it's okay oh user equal to its key value fine okay reloading it once again okay alert yeah in chrome we get as hello dear friend and from chrome to anish clicking on that alert function okay here it's working yeah can to admin hello dear friend from here it's working thank you for watching my video have a good day